So, do you want me to build you your own personal scoreboard? Well, all you have to do is just simply follow a few quick and easy steps. Just make sure to smash this like button of this video, smash the subscribe button and turn on post notifications and then leave a comment down below letting me know that you have done these things and also leave a comment telling me what kind of squad you want me to build and I can do that for you. But without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. What is going on guys and welcome back to another insane FIFA 20 squad builder on this channel and in today's video I've got an insane 300k hybrid ready for you guys honestly this team is absolutely insane it will do complete damage in for champions and in division rivals it is that sweaty honestly I highly recommend you guys go ahead and get the team about to show you guys but before I do go ahead and jump into this 300k squad builder if you guys are new around here make sure you guys do indeed subscribe and turn on post notifications and also if you do end up enjoying this video make sure you guys do in fact smash that thumbs up button because it is very much appreciated but before i do go ahead and um jump into this video i just want to say thank you so much for you guys um showing me so much support recently it is much appreciated but anyways guys enough of me waffling let's go ahead and jump into this video baby let's get it let's go <laughs> Okay guys, as you can see on your screens right now, for this amazing 300k hybrid, we're going to be using a left forward, right forward formation, but that is only to get everyone on full chemistry, there isn't in fact an alternative, more overpowered, better formation that you guys can use with this team, so I'll show you guys what formation that is, um, once I've basically shown you guys the whole team, and then I'll show you the formation switch, which I do recommend you guys do go ahead and uh, do in game. Um, so yeah, now that I've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the first player of this team, and we actually do have an insane player, and he's an absolute of a beast just an insane player honestly man he is so overpowered in this game and he goes by the, ne the name of timo werner right now i've actually got this guy in my current team um i'm actually gonna um show you guys the current team i've got now um that'll be definitely one of my next videos um coming very very soon so make sure you guys do stay tuned out for um for that one but i guess yes i'm kind of spoiling it because some of the players i am i actually do currently own and currently i'm using are in this squad builder. but anyways back to werner one is an overpowered beast man i really do recommend you guys go ahead and get him in this game he is so pacey but not only that he's very clinical he's sweaty he's actually good at dribbling as well like in game his dribbling stat um his dribbling just feels so overpowered he, feel, he can turn quickly he can move around quickly and also he like i said he is very very clinical in this game i really do recommend you guys go ahead and pick up timo one because he's honestly an absolute beast he is so overpowered an 83 rated card that plays like an 87 i really do love this man in this game and also to top it off he does have four star weak foot um maybe a small downside you could say is that he does have only three star skill moves but honestly man he still plays amazing like that is just a minor honestly he is that overpowered he is clinical he's fast and that's all you need from this man because he's an absolute beast in this game a very um insane cheap card to use in fifa 20 so i do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up so to partner up with none other than the boy um timo warner we actually do have serge Gnabry, and again another player that i've got in my current team but i've used Gnabry um quite a bit this fifa and i really do enjoy using him he's an overpowered beast in this game he is honestly just absolutely insane he's fast He's got 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves which is absolutely insane And then to top it off he's got 89 sprint speed, 92 acceleration, 81 finishing But in game is much more clinical than 81 finishing 86 short power, 81 long shots, 87 dribbling, 88 balance, 86 agility This man is an insane card, he's an absolute beast of a player in this game And I really really do recommend that you guys go in and pick him up man Because he does really get the job done Um. So anyways let's go ahead now and move on to the left forward position To complete the attacking lineup for the this 300k hybrid and we do have none other than the man himself Guedes and Guedes in this game man honestly is very again he's very sweaty he's very clinical he's good at finishing and again he's just a player that plays very very well in game he does get the job done and as you guys can see there's got 91 acceleration 90 sprint speed 77 finishing but in game um feels a lot better also I just want to quickly say to you guys ignore all the minus 20s that's only because um he doesn't have full chem yet because all the players aren't in the team yet um but yeah man this guy's honestly insane he's got 86 dribbling as well 82 agility 83 reactions 81 ball control but again in game he's dribbling the way he turns his agility feels so much better than what his stats actually say man but he is an overpowered card he's got four star weak foot and four star skill moves as well to top it off but honestly an absolutely insane card so that does complete the attack let's go ahead and move on to the midfield and we're going to start off with a juicy juicy saucy a different type of gravy kind of player in that central center mid position we actually do have um william carvalho the Real betis portuguese man 
and no, it's not just his normal basic 83 rated card. This is Scream Ultimate Scream card. His 86 rated card. This card is absolutely insane. It is very, very overpowered. He's got 82 sprint speed, 82 stand tackle, but in game feels so much better than that. I've actually got him in a draft. Uh, I use him in a draft, and he felt so overpowered. That's why I felt the need to build a squad with him in it. So that's what we're doing today. But um, as you guys can see, the 82 stand tackle, but not only that, 76 finishing, 99 shot power, 81 long shots, 81 dribbling, 92 composure, 84 ball control, 82 defensive awareness, 94 strength. This man is an anchor. He's a stud, but it also isn't too bad going forward as well. So I really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up that Scream Card value card. But we're going to move on now to um, his partner in midfield, his partner in crime in midfield, I should say. And that goes by the name of Leon Goretzka. And Goretzka is a very, very good box-to-box -box midfielder. He can attack, he can defend, he can pretty much do anything on the pitch that you guys bloody want him to. Like, he is that good. I rate him so much in this game. I've used him quite a bit this FIFA, and I really do think he is overpowered in FIFA 20, man. But as you guys can see, he's got very um, all-round, well-rounded stats with 74 stand tackle, 73 stand uh, slide tackle, but then 76 finishing, 83 long shots, 84 pass, um, short passing, 79 long passing, 81 dribbling, 84 ball control. He is just an, a well-rounded, good overpowered player. And also, he is six foot uh, two, which means he is dominant in the air, which does mean he's an aerial threat and can win headers from like goal kicks, corners, and so on. Um, but yeah, man, a very overpowered player, and I do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up. So to complete the um, midfield, we actually do have an attacking midfield, and he's actually going to be playing Cam in the formation change, and he goes by the name of Nabil Fakir. And I do love this man in this game because he is so good at dribbling. He is so agile. He can turn quickly. He's um, doing like L1 dribbling. Is very overpowered with this guy because he is so technically good with 90 dribbling, 89 ball control, 89 composure, 91 balance, 82 agility. He is very, very overpowered. He also is quite strong as well with 82 strength for a cam as well, which is actually quite strong. And then he does have 82 long shots, um, 84 short power, 82 finishing, 83 short pass, 75 long pass, and 77 sprint speed, and 79 acceleration. He is an overpowered piece, a uh, piece, a beast. And I do recommend you guys go ahead and pick him up. And also to top it off, he does have four star skills as well. I guess you could say for having three star weak foot is a bit of a downfall of his card, but all of our other attackers do in fact have four star weak foot as you guys can see right now. But um, yeah, man, I do recommend you guys go ahead and pick up these players that I've mentioned so far because they are very overpowered. So let's go ahead and move on to the fullbacks and actually in the fullback positions, both fullback positions, I'm actually using these guys in my current team right now. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to show you guys my current team. I'm probably going to go and record it after this one. Um, but yeah, man, as you guys can see in that left back position, we do have Resilion and Resilion in this game. I really do love this man. Um, he is very overpowered. He is strong. He's very, very strong. He's pacey. He's good at dribbling and he can just defend. Like He's actually very good at defending and I just really think he's overpowered in this game. He's like a cheaper Furlan Mendy. Like, honestly, he is that overpowered. He's definitely one of the best left backs, um, cheap left backs to use in this game and I really do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up man but as you guys can see there he's got 90 sprint speed 87 acceleration 82 stand tackle 76 strength and 75 aggression and also he's got some decent dribbling stats with 81 ball control and 80 dribbling um but overall defensively he really does um do well in that left back position and i highly recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up um but yeah man he's an overpowered beast in this game so i do recommend that you guys go ahead and get him so let's go ahead now and move on to the right back position and we do have a cheap um definitely the, the cheapest player in this team he is very very cheap but honestly he does get the job done he does what he needs to do in that right back position and we actually do have Danny Da Costa um yeah a very overpowered card in this game he's quite tall as well six foot two um which isn't too shabby a lot so if I do say so myself and also he does have um a bit of speed on him a bit of pace on him with 84 sprint speed and 77 acceleration he can defend as well he is physical with 80 strength and also 77 stand tackle and 77 slide tackle so overall he isn't too bad I'm using him right now on my team and he does pretty well for me so i do recommend you guys go ahead and get him so that does complete the fullbacks let's go ahead and move on to the center of barcade partnership now guys and now we do have a <laughs> Uh, I just have to laugh. I just have to laugh because honestly, man, this flipping center Rabake partnership is overpowered. So in the right center back or um or left center back doesn't really matter too much. Um, but yeah, man, in that left center back position, we actually do have the Barcelona Frenchman himself, Lenglet. And Lenglet in this game, man, he is overpowered. He is absolutely insane in this game. I'm pretty sure you guys watching.
watching this video know that already. You, you see him everywhere in Foot Champs. You see him everywhere in Div Rivals. You literally see him everywhere. Like this man's face, you see him ev everywhere. But that is because he's overpowered in this game. He is beastly. He is insane. So as you guys can see, there, he's got 74 sprint speed, 77 acceleration. He's got 83 stand tackle, 81 slide tackle, 90 defensive awareness, 82 strength, 82 heading accuracy, and 87 interceptions, along with 86 uh, jumping. But this man, honestly, is an insane card in this game. I really do recommend you guys go ahead and get him up. Um, go ahead and pick him up because he is honestly so overpowered. But anyways, guys, let's move on to his partner um, in that center of position and is none other than the Barcelona Frenchman himself, Samuel Umtiti. Man, this guy, again, is insane. I've used him in um, in FIFA before. Um, and again, I really did love him. He's overpowered, man. He's so strong as well, so physical, so demanding. He's just a stud. He's a rock. Like, honestly, man, I really do love him in that center of position, man. 72 sprint speed, 88 stand tackle, 85 slide tackle, 86 strength 87 defensive awareness 87 interceptions 79 heading heading accuracy and 88 jumping i really do love this man he is an absolute beast and i really do recommend that you guys go ahead and um pick him up but anyways guys to complete the team but not the video because like i did say um there is actually a formation change which i do need to show you guys once i've um once I've showcased the whole team. So in goal, we do have Neto. And you guys will know how I feel about Neto if you do watch me a lot. I do like him. He's an overpowered keeper. I've used him before. And I just feel like he makes saves when you least when you least expect him to. Um, and yeah, man, his, re his reflexes are very, very good. His positioning is very, very good. As you guys can see, there 82 reflexes, 82 positioning. And he's also got 81 handling and 86 diving. But I really do recommend you go ahead and pick him up. Just to let you guys know, if you guys are wondering why it's not full chemistry, it's literally because Gnabry here is on 6 chem because he's at right mid instead of right forward and that's the same with uh Gwed as you make sure you guys get him make sure you guys get them as uh left wingers and right wingers or right forwards and left forward that's totally up to you but as long as they're right winger um that should be fine but anyways guys let's go ahead and, and um quickly show you guys the formation that i do recommend you use with this team and in game it is the 4-2-3-1 formation honestly this formation is very very overpowered i really do love this formation this fifa um i just think it's so good and i do use it um a lot in this game but anyways in game this is how you want to structure the team um, with Goretzka and Scream Carvalho in the CDM positions uh, in the cam position you're going to have Fakir in the left cam you're going to have Guedes in striker you're going to have Werner and right um, right cam you're going to have Gnabry and of course the defensive lineup will stay the same so that's how you want to structure this 300k team in the 4-2-3-1 formation um, so yeah man that does complete the video let me know what you guys um, think of this 300k hybrid honestly in my opinion it is overpowered it will do damage and foot champions and division rivals I think it's honestly so insane i just think it's so sweaty so pacey and it's just such a threat to your opponents that you're gonna play um but yeah man let me know your thoughts on this team it's been your boy rb plays before i do end the video make sure you guys do follow the following steps like i did mention um at the beginning of the video in the intro of the video if you guys do want me to build your own personal squad builder and let me know you follow the steps and i'll do it for you but anyways enough of me waffling it's been your boy rb plays and i'll catch you in the next one peace out baby